G'day, welcome to video 6, preparation for task 1. In this video we're going to look at some more geometrical applications of differentiation. We're going to find the values of x for which a, a curve is increasing, decreasing, stationary, concave up or concave down. Let's go. Okay, to find the values for which a curve is increasing, we find the first derivative, the y dash, and then we make that equal to no, uh, sorry, greater than naught for increasing, and then we solve that in equation to find, say, for example, x is greater than two, something like that. So if we want to find something that's decreasing, we find the first derivative expression again, and we make that first derivative expression less than naught for for decreasing to find where the curve is decreasing and we solve that in equation. If we want to find stationary points or find at least where the curve is stationary we find the once again we find the first derivative expression and we make it equal to zero for stationary points and we solve that to find the x values that are relevant. Let's have a look at an example. We want to find the values of x for which this curve, uh, let's have a look, y equals x squared minus 3x minus 4 is decreasing. So what we do, we find that y dash expression for this, so we'll differentiate that, we'll get 2x minus 3. Now for decreasing, we want that 2x minus 3 to be less than 0. We'll then solve that uh, in equation, 2x is less than 3, x is, sorry, x is less than 3 on 2. So that curve, um, the values of x for which the curve is decreasing is all x values that are less than 3 on 2. So there we have it. Uh, let's move on. Okay, to find the values of x for which a curve is concave up, we take the second derivative expression at this stage, and then we make that second derivative, ex derivative expression uh, greater than naught for concave up, and uh, also uh, for concave down, we'd take the second derivative expression and uh, see what it, what x values uh, for what x values that expression is less than naught for concave down. So we'll solve each of those expressions and get values of x for each there. So uh, find the values of x for which we'll have a different curve this time. Y equals x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 1 is concave up. So y dash will equal, this is our first, first differentiation, first derivative, uh, plus 2x minus 2. Now our second derivative will equal 6x plus 2. Now for concave up, 6x plus 2 would have to be greater than naught. For concave up, so we quickly uh, get a, a a solution to this in equation and um, we'll divide by 6 both sides we get minus 2 on 6 x is greater than minus 1 third so for this particular curve the values of x for which the curve is concave up we've found to be the x values where x is greater than minus 1 third so that's uh, finding values of x for which a curve is uh, increasing, decreasing and uh, uh, having a certain concavity. We'll talk about stationary points in the next video. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time.